We are underway. Gable Stevenson in the gray singlet maroon trim. Anthony Cassiope in the black with gold trim. 285 pounds. And a double leg from space. Oh man, right through him. Gable Stevenson so tough. First sat out part of the season. He's back. And looking as good as ever. On the other side, looking as good as ever. Jeez, Mason Paris. Been just a monster this year. Slide out of bounds. Gable with a tiny little push off of the head. And Cassiope didn't like it, understandably so. It wasn't blatant or egregious, it was just like a tiny little tap. Escape for Cassiope makes it, Cassiope, excuse me, makes it two to one, halfway through the first period. And in a minute, six riding time built up for Gable. Snap and he gets snow to the ankle. He's gonna take Cassiope out of bounds. Action call, no stalling. The open moving forward. Number three ranked wrestler in the country. Cassio was 16 and 2 on the year. Back to back losses to Gable Stevenson and Mason Paris. The Gable match was 7 5, so a close one. Paris Pinder. Gable undefeated on the year. Just two losses on his career, both to Anthony Kassari last year in Big Ten and NCAA Finals. Gable 12-0 on the year. And then the Cassiope match was his closest by far. Two one after the first period. Cassiope starts underneath here to begin the second. Over a minute of riding time for Gable. He's going to concede the escape. Is Stevenson two two now with the one point for Cassiope. Double leg again. Oh, Gable's gonna run right through him. Beautifully timed, well executed takedowns for Gable Stevenson. Stevenson, excuse me, thus far. Two beautiful ones. Literally lifted Cassiope off of his seat. Three, you score one minute to go in the second period. Gable kind of hanging. But when he decides to go, man, yikes. Nice pop with the left hand. 
Cassiope catches that wrist. Gable with an over collar. Clears it. Referee blows it dead. Wants a restart. Cassiope inside tie in the left. His left hand heavily taped. The sleeve on his left knee. Five seconds to go in the period. We're going to go to the third. One point match. And Gable's going to have choice. And he said neutral. I think his coaches wanted him to go underneath. Just decides to take a shot right off the whistle. Swing and a miss. He's going to try again. And he trips Cassiope down. He was like, coaches, I'm, gonna, I'm okay here. I made the right choice. I don't know what he said, but he looked up at his coaches. And he said something to his coaches. Now he says something to Cassiope. Six four, you score. Minute thirty five to go. Minute thirty five. Also, the writing time clock in favor of Stevenson. No showmanship now. He does that. That fast feet. Baiting him a little bit. Standing straight up. Taunting maybe. Just a little bit. But that's not new for Gable Stevenson. We've watched him wrestle over the years, and that's, that's how he likes to play it. He's dang good. Just like, come get my leg. Again, bait, taunting, baiting. Can't quite get there as Cassie open. The shoe, left shoelace comes untied. Big double leg. Gable's going to run through him one more time. 8 4 as he blew through the double leg. Just takes his time, and man, when it's there, lowers his level and goes. Beautiful takedowns. 16 seconds to go. Riding time all locked up. Gonna land just over two minutes, I believe. Cassiope working to get up to his feet. Gable. Not let him out of bounds. Or excuse me, won't let him escape as they take it out of bounds. One second to go. And it's gonna be Gable Stevenson into the finals. I didn't see, but I'm pretty sure Mason Paris won the other one. Uh-oh, what's he gonna do? Time's up, Gable Stevenson with the riding time. 9-4, your winner. He'll see Mason.